Hello, I'm, my name is Sylvia Maktiasz and I'm coming from Poland, uh, from the Lodz University of Technology, it's in, in central Poland, and there I'm doing a PhD in chemistry. I actually wanted to challenge myself, uh, I wanted to, you know, like open up myself for the worldwide experience, let's say, you know, because like, I know like, uh, science could be like, let's say, equally mesmerizing everywhere, so I wanted to test it out. <laughs> I'm actually learning here a lot, because uh, I was actually expecting doing only one project here, but uh, the thing is that I'm actually, like, the, the more time I'm spending here, I'm getting like more and more tasks, which I actually like, this is not uh, something bad, <laughs> this is the opportunity I can learn more. And also, you know, like, uh, advise people in some cases, like in some fields of chemistry as well. My social life is actually quite good. Actually, the very, no, very well example of that is the fact that, like, uh, yesterday I was walking from my office to another lab, like, in the other part of the campus. And then, you know, like, uh, I was just walking around with my friend and there were, like, people randomly saying hello, Sylvia, everywhere. So she was like, oh, wow, you're pretty well known here. <laughs> And yeah, this is fact. I'm pretty well known here, but I enjoy it. enjoy the fact that it is like it is. Yeah. My professional life is also like very good. I told you like I'm doing uh, multiple tasks at uh, the same time, so I like it. And I'm having also a very good supervisor, who is Dr. Tanui. And yeah, I really uh, enjoy the cooperation with him and also with the whole team. The first project, like the main one, uh, it is regarding the uh, let's say like we are trying to obtain an active substance, substance out of the, uh, of the plant which is grown here in Kenya. This is Saturecha flora, and uh, we want to apply like the extract from this, uh, from this plant uh, to wound healing process. Uh, and the other one uh, is regarding uh, making the biodegradable plastic actually. So we want to obtain the biodegradable plastic bottles for packaging water so it's something you know like very essential actually for the for the time well actually it is in a in a sense they're like same and in a sense they're um, very different so it depends on the uh, on the aspect we're looking for uh, i mean like professionally it is like more or less the same you know like the structure and stuff uh, it is more or less the same uh, but what i can say uh, about the other aspect is the fact that uh, the university here uh, it's a way more beautiful than mine <laughs> you do have the garden like here we we are actually here uh, and yeah it's like uh, the campus is also like very huge uh, for the other universities it's usually not like this they're like mostly divided even like uh, also in the in the different part of the city so you know like sometimes it's like the other organization but you know I, I enjoy it uh, yeah, what I actually like the most is the fact that uh, this is the scientific fact. <laughs> so yeah, something about uh, science I'm doing here. Uh, but what I really like here is the fact that uh, you guys like really involve, uh, let's say, the natural resources you're having here into the project. So you know, like there are people like in the food science who are you know like doing the projects regarding the plants you are growing here. That's also, you know, applied for my project for now, for the chemical ones. And I see like there are like a lot of people who are like interested. Oh, maybe that that plant has, you know, like something, some interesting properties, or you know, yeah, maybe you can heal the wounds, or maybe it is antibacterial or something. You know, it is something uh, which I really appreciate. I try to, you know, like discover Kenya as much as possible. I'm using weekends mostly for that. So I'm not missing the days in a, in a work. Uh, so yeah, I'm using uh, weekends for discovering like different parts of Kenya and for traveling actually. So actually each weekend starting from the very first one, I'm somewhere around uh, discovering the surroundings. Actually at the very good university somewhere, you know, in a very different country, especially for the people from Europe, that's a very good place. Surprisingly, it's Smocha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I rated Smocha 10 out of 10. <laughs> I like Chapati too. I'm just uh, not a fan of Ugali. I'm still wondering how it's even possible you can eat Ugali so often. Like, you know, there are like, I do have a lot of Kenyan friends who, you know, like, keep saying me, 
that if I cannot, if, if I'm not taking Kugali for Sapa, that it doesn't count as Sapa at all. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the transport system. Uh, yeah, the, I uh, actually, yeah, the Matatu, let's say. This is something which I use, of course, here the most. And, you know, it depends on the, on the trip, actually, because, you know, like, sometimes it's, like, not full of people, so I can enjoy, like, for example, the Matatu from Nieri to Nairobi. It was the, you know, the luxurious one, I would say. <laughs> so that was a very nice experience. But there are also, you know, like, some experiences. I also experienced, like, having 25 people in 11-person Matatu. So, you know, I'm just <laughs> discovering Kenya on the different levels. <laughs> I just want to say that I really enjoyed the stay here and I will probably miss uh, the place and the people here. <laughs>